Literally. If, but if only there was someone that was close to me, a friend, that I could could hold his She can fall. He can follow belt. me up well, well, when I cast in jail. He can, but I'm saying, even if you say he's this position, it's not line of sight. I'm, of course, referring to Hogger, who it's is an standing audible, next to me. But it's an audible spell. Right. Yeah, but, it's like you're, but you have to you're focus that. the echo. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But I'm saying... I'm not trying I, to be a buzzkill. I'm just trying to figure this out. Hogger and I are positioned at the top of the map. If he were to guide me... Hogger ain't doing shit. Don't touch me. <laughs> yeah. Hogger's gonna come in here and ruin everything for everyone. So... There's that. I... And then I cannot see a way for this plan to succeed. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm sorry. I know it just seems like I'm trying to... Really I think anything. throwing your voice was an excellent idea. I think that that was awesome. It's just this this sight thing that you have but to figure out. But if only Hogger would guide me. Now, what you could do is you could wait for someone else to initiate, and then once you're already in combat and you're not really worried about stealth, you could cast Dancing Lights. And then you could see. And then and you, you could, could see, and then you could do your thing. I mean, does this affect our plan? You're, Who cares? What about vicious the mockery? Bear. What vicious mockery does the, doesn't the give us anything. First, and then we can it focus our assets on him. The bugbear so, is holding a human hostage. A with a human that is isn't even our target. Not oh a single so one of us gives us. Vicious mockery. Looking at that human. Looking at that. I thought about shooting the human in the mouth. Yeah. Who cares? Vicious, vicious mockery. It doesn't do anything. We're not doing it. We're so gonna entangle the goblins. There's, the, there's one extremely important thing that I should say. You have seen this person before. I have. You all have. Oh, briefly. That's a big, big. You don't remember his name. You know he has some ties to Gundren. Oh. Ooh. So I shouldn't just kill him. You could. You could just kill Hogger him. Hogger probably thought would. about it. Um. By the way. Yes. I'm, I've I've gotten up. All right. I've woken up. I've stood up at this point. All right. Okay. <laughs> what if we just Is that leave? It? I mean, I don't know much, much. I can't get there in time, so I'll, I'll start. Well, and you don't know what's going on over right. there. Right. We could just leave. I'm hobbling. Okay. I'm definitely hobbling. We could just leave this cave. I don't care about this guy. Yes, you do. This is our mission. What do I you don't, mean you don't care, care about the mission. What are you going to do? Just hop back in our wagon and do nothing for the rest of your life? No, go back to Gundren. Ugh. Finish the mission. This has nothing to do with our mission. Our mission um, wasn't rescue some no, guy. this man knows the whereabouts of our employer. At least, our, our uh, employer. Uh, I looked up Vicious Mockery. It says you unleash a string of insults laced with subtle enchantments that decrease her. You can see within range. Oh, okay. Um, there's more to this cave. We were told Gundren is inside of this cave. From we a goblin were told by being interrogated. We weren't told that by a goblin. Yeah. The DM told us that. No, no, we, we assumed we, that he's We in. interrogated a goblin before. Whatever, I cast got, Entangle. <laughs> the goblin did not tell you that he had Gundren. The goblin told you that they yeah. had someone captive oh. yeah. who was... We assumed was Gundren. Sure. Because yeah. <clears throat> your, your rogue, neutral guy cares about finishing the mission instead of money for some reason. I cast because entangle on the, the goblins. Is money. I cast entangle on the goblins. Okay, you Hunter can't just say you cannot. Them. You cannot just say I cast <laughs> entangle on the goblins. I'm just trying to move this along. No, okay. I appreciate Stop. it. It need, It does We're need to move along. Wasting so much time. Yes, we are. So, Lilia, you, you're up here. We need right. you have to make another stealth check. Okay, the goblins are waiting for you. Twelve. It's going to be harder than it was before. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Let me roll. Uh, so you're gonna. To cast it, you're gonna have to like. I don't need to see the goblins. I'm casting it on the entire room, which I know is the size that I can cast. Give me one second. So I can cast it from up the hall. Though. Yeah, I know, I've cast this spell before. I know how big it is. I'm like, oh, that's roughly the same size as this room. Right. Plus, it'll make the whole room hard for these guys to move in. You have to see the square that you're casting it, though. You can't right. just be. I can see the middle of the room from up the hall, but you can't see the twenty foot radius you're trying to spray. Right, it all you, in. you'd have to. You'd have to like if you want to cast it. I want to cast like, it. This I want to cast it right in the center of that area. Right. It's so you'd have, hit, to, it's gonna you'd have to. You'd have to. I'm telling room. you, you have to move right here and look this way. Why? Because I you have, have to, to right, see where you're casting. Right, I'm casting it in the middle of the room, nowhere near the goblins. Middle of the room, twenty feet fills the entire lower okay. area. Okay, so you're gonna stand right here and you're gonna cast it yes. here. Gotcha. Filling the entire room and the gravel, hitting all the goblins because I watched them walk over there. Yes. I, I think yes. Lilia is OP. Yes. Lilia is not OP. Lilia <laughs> never hits a roll and can cast two spells a turn. Hogger is OP. It's because I don't rely on your. 
trickery. Okay, so all of the goblins magic. can make a strength check to resist it. You cowardice. Otherwise trickery. they're restrained. Otherwise they're restrained. Um, the other thing is we have to do the stealth check. So, good sir, your strength check was 12? Or stealth, stealth, stealth check, check was 12? Okay. That succeeds. Um, That's good. You cast the spell. So the the DC for this spell is against your spell save DC, which is wisdom. Which is wisdom. Sixteen is my wisdom, whatever. My spell save DC is thirteen. Apparently, I don't remember how I got that. Oh, it's ten plus plus my mod, I think. Yes, so that's correct. 13. So it's thirteen. So I have to make strength checks for all five of them. Uh, every every turn for the next minute, right? No, I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm just gonna do it once. If they're restrained, they're restrained. Cool if they're not this. restrained, they're not restrained. I'm not cool with it. Why is Hogger standing by while I? So thirteen, you said. This is all happening in three forward. seconds. No, Lila is stealthed. That whole encounter was how long? Six seconds. Six seconds. Lila didn't roll initiative over you. You could do anything right now. I'm getting Why ready are you to charge talking in. To us? You're not in here. I'm Hogger Michael doesn't really. Hoover. Hogger doesn't think that fast. Yeah. Hogger doesn't Six think seconds. fast to watch Lilia sneak forward and just like, oh, I'm Six gonna go in and go do that. This is gonna. We've already done this before. It benefits yeah. Hogger. He can go in and slice these yeah, guys in half. He understands blood lust. that I'm helping him. That time he okay. did it before took a lot of uh, suggestion. That was the first time. Uh, I just so, prove. Lilia, but you I know free kills are a good thing. The power of your Elemental magic causes these huge, enormous, thick vines to sprout from the ground in a 20-foot radius. And the goblins are totally caught unaware. They weren't expecting this. They don't see you. They think the wrath of God is punishing them for their evil ways. <laughs> and the vines entangle most of the goblins, but not all of them. So I'm going to annotate this here. Use the green marker for the vines, Ben. Good idea, Elise. Thanks. Thanks, Ben. Wow, that was Be great. Back. Thanks for patronizing me with my marker idea. No, it was a really good idea. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Okay, so... You got an extra letter in there. Oh. I don't know what I was doing. Wait, so... The top, the top right one has two letters on it. Hugger is yawning. I just want to kill things. Okay, this is not right. Yeah, suddenly Hogger's like way cool with magic. I'm not cool with it. You dude. just said I'm cool with it. You're like, oh, free kills. That sounds All right. great. It happened in six seconds. I think you sold Sogger, Hogger out. I'm really sad about this. Dude, you sold right. him out. Character sold out. All right. Yeah, right. So dude. these really two. Bad. Roll the tape. These two. They've been bitter the whole also, time. Also, uh, just because I don't want to erase it and redraw it, these goblins are back here. They're back against yeah, the yeah. wall. Yeah. These two have succeeded, these three have failed, which means these three are entangled, these two are not. The two nice. up front. Okay. So, since you've casted that spell, combat is now initiated. Everyone, including Andre, has to roll initiative. Combat on. Uh, in four. So five for me. Fifteen total for me. Fifteen total for me. Uh, if you both got fifteen, I need you both to reroll. Yeah. Uh, seven. You got a ten. So thirteen total for me. Uh, nine. Okay. But we, do we keep our fifteen? You keep your fifteens, but Andrew acts first. Andrew is yeah. I'm a nineteen. Nice. I don't really feel like right Pervins shouldn't Hard? be uh, entering this battle first, though. Yeah, Pervins is definitely a back of the line guy. All right, time to roll for the goblins and the bugbear. Oh, that bugbear dude. He's gonna slaughter that guy. The bugbears. <laughs> bugbear, bugbear. You big bug, you bugbear. Oh wow. All right, I really need Ian here to say this next thing. Where did he go? Back he didn't there. say. Uh, so go ahead and say it anyway. Okay. <laughs> so 
uh, the bugbearer acts first. Whoa. And he's holding this person um, at knife point. And he says, I see you've used your arcane. He can't tell the difference between arcane and elemental magic. Sure. I see, I see you've used your arcane trickery to entangle my men. But I would advise you to halt any further advances. He's a much more well-spoken bugbear than you would expect based on his appearance. Cool. He says, this friend of yours, this friend, his name I need to look up, um, Sildar, he calls himself, has information on Gundren. He has information on where you need to go. If you continue your assault, I will slit his throat right here, right now, and you may never find Gundren again. Bugbear made it clear he's going to slit this guy's Lalia throat. Lalia says, do it. Whoa. Harger charges in. Yeah, I think it's extremely important that... I wish you wouldn't have left, because I think it's extremely important that you're going to say. So he basically said, I have this guy at knife point. You better leave me and my men alone. Otherwise, I'm going to slit his throat. Go for it. Why are you saying he, do besides, it? He's, he's the only person you know that has any information on Gundren. If he dies, he, according to the bugbear, you may never find Gundren again. Why wouldn't Gundren just be in the anyway, hand like he gets, said he would be? Pervins gets to go first because we're in combat. Oh, uh, sure. So the goblin says the reason, <laughs> the reason why, like, we yeah. assaulted... So Sildar and who's this guy that's being held at knife point, and Gundren were riding together. They were going to Fandolin, the town, together. They were attacked at the same time, but they were taken to different places. Sildar is put here. Gundren was taken somewhere else. I yell, Sildar, where's Gundren? Yeah. I thought we are in combat. They can't just be shouting things You can talk at any time. The, the bugbear is addressing them during his turn. Sure. So he, like, a Sildar, decent... Sildar, where's Gundren? Yeah. Uh, so... Sildar's being choked tightly enough that, like, he's trying to talk, and you can't. You're pretty far away. You also just... Worth a shot. It was you worth also, a shot. You also just revealed your position, to. So now the goblins and the bugbear know that there's someone other in Lilia they have to worry about. He's like, oh, I thought it was just you, Alf. Well, I mean, is Hogger at the entrance? Did he hear anything that was just said by the bugbear? So they're in a cave. The bugbear is, like... Yelling. Bellowing. Bellowing. Sure. He could hear it. He okay. could make it out pretty clearly. Um... And in order for Hogger to talk to the bugbear, he would also have to talk at roughly the same level. Yeah. So now everyone knows that there's more than just uh, Lilia. And uh, Sildar can't make out his words. Also, the bugbear is upset that Sildar's trying to talk. Yeah. He hits him with the, like, the bottom of his dagger, and he starts bleeding from his head. Uh, all right. The Aaron goblins, the two goblins that aren't restrained are, uh, one has a scimitar ready and the other is pointing a short bow at you, Lilia. Okay. Uh, okay, go. It's I'm Pervin's I'm turn. Mm-hmm. Pervin's runs along. Wait. He, he, so the, the goblin is addressing you. He wants an answer. Like, his turn is not going to end until oh. he gets some... Answer from me. Well, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna charge in. So, right. So you're just, but he's that's talking fine. You me, can tell me that. So he needs right. me to say something. The person okay. who's in front of him. I say, uh, can I ready my short bow during this while I speak? Uh, I say I pull out. I pull n- out an arrow. If you're using it to communicate, then yeah. yes. I pull out an arrow and I say, the day I start trusting a bugbear is the day I die. <laughs> Is and, this then I, and then I pointed at, at the bugbear. So it shall be. <laughs> the day you die. Yeah. So you're threatening the bugbear. Lilia yes. gains one point of badassery in Hogger's book for not backing down to this bugbear and pointing a bow straight at it. Hogger didn't even hear this all the way down the hallway where he, he just hit Lilia. Are you even like, there? Are yeah. you even part Stop of this group? Yeah. yeah, Jesus. Let's go. So, all right. <laughs> God. All right. If you were there, you might The bugbear says, are you sure this is the way you want it to be? Yes. He slits Sildar's throat. Great. 
He, Sildar collapses. He's, he's, uh, he looks malnourished. He looks like he hasn't eaten in a while. And so he's, with his feeble arms, he's trying to, like, grab his throat on the ground, trying to I prevent I feel nothing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. You guys are in a tough spot now. All I feel right. like you <coughs> forgot your entire motivation. My entire motivation is getting the thing, but I don't trust this bugbear. I think that he's lying. I think he wouldn't tell us where Gundren is anyway. I think he was going to kill Sildar no matter what we did. Okay. Sildar's going to die while we're fighting. I, res I respect he's, that. I he's respect that logic. How does Andrew know any the of this? The second we walk in, he's fucked. Is Andrew outside Andrew, of the cave? Andrew has not spoken a word this entire also, time. Also, now the bugbear has given away his only bargaining chip, leaving us no option but to beat this information out of him. No okay, so too, by the way. also the beat it out of him. yeah, like the way we're gonna beat it out of him. <laughs> okay. yeah, so off. after he slices uh, yeah, limbs off, off. Yeah, speaking my language, language. Yeah. the like bugbear, the bugbear yeah, slits okay. Sildar's throat, and uh, his turn's done for right now. He doesn't move. Does he get experience points for that? <laughs> uh, monsters <laughs> don't get experience. Does Sildar points, get experience points? <laughs> <laughs> no. So Sildar is. Corpse. Is Silver is not dead yet, but he's very quickly dying. Okay. And he just whispers, God, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he, I go. He cannot, he cannot talk. He can't talk. His throat's slit. <laughs> oh, he cannot talk. Uh, yeah. Pervins, it's your turn. So you are the only person that the goblins and the bugbear are not yet aware of. Pervins runs down the hall. Holding they are now aware of you. <laughs> no, it's, dark, it's dark, though, in that hallway. Yeah, but they can hear. But you're running. Like, <laughs> they're sorry. They're aware of you. Pervins <laughs> 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 runs down the hall to Lilia's side, and he too, down at her. and he too readies his short bow. Oh, take a okay. shot, Pervins. Take a shot. Yeah, take a shot. Shoot the bugbear. I say shoot the bugbear. No, he kill the other guys first. And, and he save the bugbear for last. So I need to know, knife, or you are you just going to Lilia's side? Yes, are you side. trying to take a shot? Are you... Oh, I mean, can I take a shot from her side? side? Kill the ads. If you're... Add it, like, I need to know exactly where you're going to be. Like, if I you're mean, right here, you can't shoot behind. through Lilia. That's behind her. Right, so you're right here. Okay, okay, I can't take a shot from there? No, you can, but because you were running down the cave, the goblin already had its short bow ready. It hears you coming. It's gonna get a shot because it's gonna take you a second to run, stop, set up your bow, and shoot. It's gonna get a shot before that. As Pervis was running, he tried to get his bow ready and he fell on it and he stabbed himself. <laughs> I don't think Pervis gets to do that. I don't think he can do that. I like, <laughs> I like your kidding. creativity. I'm kidding. Uh, um, if you had to well, roll for running and well, failed. Pervis says. So you can still take a shot, but this goblin is gonna get a shot at you as well. Come at me, bro. Yeah, worth it. Let's do it. Let's okay, do it. so this is the goblin with the bow. Gonna shoot you. All right. What's your armor but class? They're like way up there. Aren't Thirteen. They? What's up? They're they are way up there. But they so, can still line up sight like, each other. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Go. Just yeah. Go. They can still line up sight each other. Um. What's your thirteen? Thirteen. Hit. Three damage. Not bad. Could have been worse. Shake it off. What is it the arrow there? hits your foot yeah. and stings, <laughs> but you can, you are, your vitals are fine. Is the other one dead? No, no, no. No one's what? dead. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you know how this game works? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, I Pervance. thought the first thing was... So, you can shoot. Yeah. You, now that the attack's over, you can shoot. Pervance, he readies his bow and he, he fires. Excellent. Roll and add your uh, range attack modifier. <clears throat> Nice. Damn. That's a hit. Um, Plus four, 20. 20. Now roll a d6. Plus four. four. Where's this plus? We're using uh, the weapon attack bonus as a roll bonus and a damage bonus? No, it would have been It would have been here. So like here for my short bow, oh, I have I a see. plus three for piercing, but it just I, doesn't oh, exist there. Yeah, we don't have we those numbers. That. So what is oh, it? You short should. Hogger has it. Well, no, 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 it's not, no, 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 it's, no, 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 guys. You gotta earn those. No, hold on. You, so your short bow does one d six plus your dexterity modifier. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's, that's why that plus three is. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was yeah. like, so where is this coming from? Four, two, six. Six.